my name is Aliza. I'm a product manager at PingMe, and I'm going to show you how to sign up and test our API sandbox. So first, we need to sign up, create an account. I've filled this out on behalf of my friend Bugs Bunny in advance. Put in all of our information, create the account. Great, so it'll give us two options. The first is to explore pinging, ping me with a demo account, and the second is to build with a pro account. We'll talk about what a pro account is and what you can do with it on another video. For this, we're gonna focus on the demo account and um, what you can explore. So I'll go here, create a free demo account, um, and what you'll see here is a list of our sample users. You can definitely poke around and play in there if you want, see what's actually visible, but what I want to show you today is um, how to actually um, test our APIs. So we're going to go to API reference, but first I will just copy this here. This is the demo uh, API key. You're going to need this once we go into, into the reference. All right, let's open this up. So this first page, the introduction, it, it just gives you an overview of uh, what the different data and insights that you can expect through our, through our APIs. Before I dive into that, I, ha I just copied the uh, API key, so I want to make sure that I, I paste it in. So I'm going to go find any API, let's put here, and um, just replace, make sure that was probably an old key, replace it with a fresh key. And I can just make sure it works by saying try it. Great. So. Before I go into that, let's go back to introduction. So you'll see we break up our data into primitives and derivatives. Primitives you can kind of consider the, the building blocks, kind of the foundation from which um, we can build a credit model um, or, or other types of data products. Derivatives are uh, what we've built on top of that, gives you some ideas of, of ways in which to use our APIs. Um, and then you can go over here and actually get a sense of what that looks like with our sample users. So for example, if you wanted to get all the accounts with another user, we already put in our API token up there, so we can just press try it. And for our sample user here that we've put in, you can see that this person has a Zenith Bank account, Palm Pay, um, et cetera. The one other thing I'll show you, it, it, uh, this kind of works the same for any of these API points, you can definitely uh, go in and play, is the credit report. So the credit report is, is basically our um, where we summarize what we think is the most useful information for you to make a credit decision. The way that works is you would put in the user UID here to actually uh, request a, a credit report. What will happen is you'll get a credit report ID and then you would um, get that credit report. It might take you know a minute or so to for it to be created. So you take that credit report ID, you would put it in here. Um, we already have an example loaded so I'll just show you and try it and then you can see here. You see the user information, that demographic information up front, their name, uh, phone numbers, date of birth, etc., and then a summary of deposits, a summary of loans, um, and then a deep dive into each one of those deposit and loan accounts. You can see with loans, we have divided that into any loans that are open, any late payments, and then if this person had any loans in default, closed or offers, they would be here and then a breakdown of, of repayments.